What is going on guys? It is Power Bang bringing you guys another Brawl Stars guide. Today's character that we're going to focus on is Nita. Nita is a short range utility character that really packs a punch with her bear spawn that she has as her super ability. Nita has a base of 800 hit points. Her primary attack is called Rupture and that is where Nita sends forth a shockwave, rupturing the ground and damaging enemies caught in the tremor. Her super ability is called Overbearing, pardon the pun, but Nita calls the spirit of the big baby bear to manifest and maul her enemies. Nita is a very, very strong and well-rounded character. Let's go over her strengths and weaknesses, starting with her strengths. As we mentioned, she's a very well-rounded character that can do a number of key things very well. First off, she can pursue the enemy. She can chase down, track them down, hunt them down, and ultimately end their life. She can do that with the assistance of her bear that she spawns with her super ability. She can poke if needed, which is standing back from the fight a little bit, using her rupture ability to reach out from range and build up enough energy by landing shots on the opponent to build her super. She can also play defensively. The AoE effect of her primary attack works great on choke points and she's very effective at holding down a particular area of the map. Nita can also act as a tank. If she's able to get her super up and get her bear on the field early and that bear combined with Nita backing it up can act as a tank with a very high amount of damage output. Nita is a very, very effective one versus one character. If you do find yourself in a showdown with with another brawler, it's very common that Nita will win that fight regardless of who's on the other end. Nita's so good one versus one that sometimes she can even effectively one versus two when she gets her bear on the field. Nita is also very, very good at playing the objectives. Smash and grab and heist are very, very strong game modes for her. She can use her bear to go after players, but also can use that same bear to attack enemy objectives like the safe on heist. We mentioned smash and grab and heist being very strong game modes. She's also one of the top brawlers on Showdown. She rivals El Primo as one of the very best brawlers on Showdown and also has a very good win percentage on that game mode. Just like Jesse, she can build up her super energy with her primary attack and her bear attacks. So if the bear is left unattended, it will build up enough energy to spawn another bear onto the field as soon as hers is killed. As far as weaknesses go, Nita does not have many. She's got average range, nothing outstanding, so she's not going to be able to reach out and take out Colt or Brock or Ricochet or some of the longer range characters without actually attacking them, being aggressive and moving forward. She also has a very average amount of hit points. Her base HP is 800, which isn't terrible. It's not like Ricochet who has 500 or cold who has 600, but she does not have the strength that Bull or El Primo take to the battle. But I suppose it wouldn't be fair for one character to do everything extremely well. Aside from the average range and limited hit points, Nita is a very, very strong character that has no other apparent weaknesses. As far as tactics and tips go for Nita, laying down a bunch of ruptures at the initial engagement is a valuable AoE effect, and that means that you can very quickly damage the entire team. The rupture goes through enemies, which means you can damage a second enemy beyond the first. So if the first one absorbs a shot, it doesn't mean that it will block the damage from going through to the next enemies like it would with Colt. After your initial engagement, always be poking. Any shot that you can land with Nita is super valuable. Building up your super is a top priority, so make sure that you're constantly engaging the enemy with little pot shots, hoping that they walk into your rupture. Be careful of moving too far in though. You don't want to get too close to where you can be taken out with shotguns or a melee character you're hopping onto you where you can't get away. Once you've got your super in hand, it's time to get aggressive. Attack with your teammates using the bear as a distraction, a cover, or a helper, and you're essentially fighting a four versus three battle. Use your bear to cut off angles and make it impossible for your enemy to escape without having to deal with it. You can also use your bear to land it in spots where the enemy is forced to deal with either you or the bear. That will definitely flush them out of their hiding spots. When your health is running low, make sure to retreat a little bit while your bear is still alive. As long as you're not firing shots, your health can replenish, while your bear can remain in combat and put pressure on the enemy team while you get ready for the next push. If you're unsure of where the enemy is, throw down your bear. It targets and pursues the closest enemy, and if that happens to be in a bush, well, that sucks for them. Try to work with your bear and your team to put pressure on whoever is trying to take it down. If you can keep the bear alive and keep the 4-3 to three advantage that you have, that is massive. Throwing them a free bear to kill is not super helpful, so make sure that you're ready to engage the enemy before you actually use your super ability. On the heist game mode, use your bear and drop it over the wall at the save if you're on offense. It will do a significant amount of damage and force the defenders 
players back into their spawn to kill it, which then gives up the defensive position that they have established and allows your team to move all the way up to the safe. During showdown, your bear is hugely helpful. Stay close to it and never be ambushed because it always targets the closest enemy. As long as you're close to it, it knows to pursue the closest brawler, which means you get to apply pressure to them from two angles and you will not be surprised from any nearby bushes. Toss your bear over a wall to help flush out enemies towards you or make it so they have to escape past your bear taking a significant amount of damage. Keep your distance as they come around the corner so that your rupture is in range, but their abilities are not in range of you or they're dodgeable. As far as best game modes go for Nita, we mentioned before that she excels at smash and grab and showdown. She's also very good at bounty and heist. That makes all four game modes very, very viable for this character as she does not have any weaknesses on any particular game mode. As far as worst game modes go, you just heard it. There are none. Favorable matchups for Nita include Crow, El Primo, Ricochet, Colt, Bull, and Shelly. Nita, quite frankly, can put out a lot of damage, and having that extra bear to hide behind, it helps her so much. Characters that can't fire through the initial character and do damage to targets that are behind it, Nita can effectively use that bear as a shield while she approaches for the kill. Her rupture ability, while not extremely long range, is definitely long enough to make it very, very difficult for short range characters like Bull or El Primo. Some difficult matchups for Nita are Bo, Barley, Jesse, and Poco. One versus one, Nita can do well against nearly everybody, but in a team setting, where players are having to work together, Bo, Barley, Jesse, and Poco can also make it very difficult for Nita to be successful. Jesse, in particular, can use Nita's bears against her, using them for target practice so her shock orbs continue on to the next target with 100% accuracy. As far as hard counters go, Nita does not have a hard counter. She is able to effectively battle and have a chance at defeating every brawler in the game. Nita is a fantastic character. She is excellent and a staple in many team compositions on almost every single game map and every game mode. Her bear can be overwhelming to opponents and it's a must to deal with or else the bear will force opponents into bad positions or hit them enough to generate another super ability for Nita. Nita is perhaps the greatest utility brawler in the game. She brings an incredible amount to her team and she can also do other things very well aside from being just generally useful. She also has no glaring weaknesses. So this is a character I highly recommend leveling up and getting very good at. That is going to do it for today's guide on Nita. That is our latest brawler. We have more coming soon, guys, as far as brawler guides go. But before you go, if you like the video, let me know by clicking that like button. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe for more Brawl Stars content. And before you get out of here, check the description for our Brawl Stars wiki, where we have all kinds of tips and tricks, guides, and other information at our website where you guys can find very, very awesome Brawl Stars information. That's going to do it for this video, guys. This is Power Bang. I will see you guys in the next one.